Hi all, welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this part. Let's open a new part. And to this new part, we will invite one pattern. This pattern I found on internet. It is very easily findable. If you can't, maybe you can write me an, an email and I can send you. So I select it and I say open, import to a new part as sketch. And next, millimeter series should be selected and finish. That's it. It might take some time because it consists of a lot of uh, curves, but uh, at the end it will work. Sketch is closed. This model is selected, like sketch is selected, extrude for space. It might take some time, especially the computers like my old computer, uh, really struggling to model this kind of many small surfaces. The thickness is two, and then uh, I will pause my video and then show you the, the end result. Yes, guys, it is extruded. It took around a minute on my computer. Uh, I don't know, maybe on your computer it might be faster. So we change display state. This is very important because when you work in, with this kind of things and there is too much small surfaces, so it works a little bit difficulty. If you work with this different display state, it is really helping. So on top of this uh, the new uh, extrude, we create a sketch. So I will convert this to edge, okay? And then I will hide this one because it is difficult to work with this visual things. Okay, when you have this one, you simply create something like this, okay? Two line, here one arc, here one arc, and then here another arc. Okay, all this done with the third option of arc. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna give relationships. We're gonna say, you be here tangent. Control should be pressed, tangent here. Again, two object, tangent. Sometimes you can do like this, select two, and tangent. Uh, most of the things will work. Most important thing, the dimensions. Here I will say I have an 80 and here I have a 120. To be able to give this kind of dimensions, you should press shift. If you can't do that, there is another option. I might show you, sorry, this will be 10. Simply using a line. Just draw here a line. Okay, make it here tangent and then give dimensions from edge to that tangency. Uh, that line, so will work. There's a lot of options. So I also add here one radius and make everything equal. It looks fine. So I will drop this one 15 millimeter offset it from this two line. Okay, 15. Here, 125 I think should be our radius yes it is good we can move so the sketch here will be extruded okay because it started at the top what we're gonna do in the direction below two millimeter and upwards 18 and then team feature will be active inside and thickness tool something like this and what we got then here this one you see and this one okay what we will do now we will show the sketch the, the first body we have now two solid bodies okay show this second body and select this one the sketch and cut, extrude cut, flip side to cut, so the inside will be protected and the outside will be cut. It. If you click this one and then say OK, the cut operation will be finishing and in the body selection, it's not auto selected, but uh, you should select only this one. Select it, but it takes a little time. I'll wait a little bit. 
Yes, menu appeared now. We're gonna select this guy and okay. Yes, we can say okay now. You see how uh, struggles my computer. Also in parallel, when you make video, do you have this kind of issues? If I would model it without video, maybe it will be fine. Select bodies, only body one. This should be okay, the rest will be gone. What we got? This object. We can combine now. We can have two bodies. Combine these two. Okay, this is also good. And now I will cut here this uh, hanging holes. Okay, we look normal too. I might do like this better. One hole, one circle. And a random point should be. This should be eight. This should be six. This should be from here. 35. Okay. Then a line like this. Select a slot. This one from here to here. In fact, we didn't need that one. I don't know why I drew it. 1.5 and 5. Extrude cut. This guy, this guy, up to next. Hey, it didn't happen. We didn't select right, seems. We will do it again. This object also. Yes. If you select this one, linear pattern, and this side on 50, just one, it will be cut it there. And I will not uh, do the same thing here. You can just repeat it. I will show you one thing. We have an issue with this model now. Everywhere. We have smooth connections inside, but at the edges, we don't have them. Simply, what you're gonna do, you create here fillets. Three, I think it's a good approximation for this one. And also here, and I will show one another detail that you're gonna encounter during modeling this. In some edges, you have this semi uh, radius already. Then, what you're gonna do, you're gonna delete them second option you're going to clean them simply and then this will be radius yeah maybe here a little bit smaller might be better for example radius two and i will show here another one which might create more issues for example this kind of little sections you see a lot of little surface breaks you cannot put their nice radiuses so what you're going to do, you select all of them. Second option will delete them and tangently connect the surface to another one. And then you can here assign cleaner radiuses like this too. Boom. And then we have this nice thing. Yeah. Let's do as well here. What we do first, delete. Yes. You go bastards and then here radius two. Yeah, nice. You can complete other things. It's a nice extra uh, thing. Also here you look at this one. Terrible you should select everything. And you uh, also finish this one here. I will not repeat it. So th this is just same operations. And then at the end you will get a model like what I have. I have also some little, uh, I think, here issues. I need to complete them. But that's it. Anyway, it was a nice video, I think. It's a nice ex uh, example. I like it, really. If you like it, hit the like button, drop a comment. Thanks for watching.